Hello and welcome to channel 48. In this video I'm gonna show you the Tomtech Ultimate 10 tablet. Yesterday I found a tablet on marketplace.nl and if I, I was scrolling on marketplace last Sunday and it was after we got the Samsung S2 for 10 euros I think I stayed a bit in the 10 euros mood so I checked on, on, on marketplace and then I saw this tablet it was sold by a girl that lives in my village as well so this is as well a village tablet <laughs> it's from Tomtek and it's the ultimate 10 uh, the exact model is the ATP 7526 this thing has HD HDMI it has a mini USB port it has a normal USB port it has a micro SD slot and it also has a charging port so look at these ports here so this is the charging port this micro SD slot HDMI this is what is this headphone of course this is not micro USB but mini USB at this time there was no micro USB yet I think or it just came to certain devices from Samsung the S2 I think or the S1 this comes from I think this thing is from 2011 so this is very old okay we're going way back in time and this thing looks like brand new not a scratch so why did I get it and why was it so cheap well <laughs> the thing has no adapter so that means I cannot turn it on or maybe we can I need to get an adapter to connect it to this little charging point but this adapter is a very special one it's a 2 amperes 9 volt adapter it's it's just a little wall charger with a, a 1 meter of cable and a very thin plug and the adapter is giving 9 volts 2 amperes I don't have that adapter so in fact we cannot use this tablet but I think we can because I see a micro USB port here so you know what let's get that cable that micro USB port and see if we can get some life into this tablet okay there we are welcome back so what is a mini USB well this is a mini USB can you see that it's it's kind of different than the micro USB let me show you the difference you see the micro USB is way thinner this is micro and this is mini and we need mini I remember that we use these cables and these plugs as well to charge the device so will it charge let's try let's see if we can actually turn on this thing because it would be such a waste if we can't so i'm gonna plug it in to an adapter hey it's going on amazing look at that but when we take it out it immediately turns off so I think I don't think it's gonna charge from here well I'm sure it's not gonna charge because the charging port is there so let's see what's gonna happen It's in a boot loop.
You see that? It's in a boot loop. All right. So um, this boot loop could be because there's something wrong with the tablet, but it could also be that it's not getting enough power. So um, let me just plug it into my 2 ampere power supply and see what happens. It goes on again. Hey, we have some life in this thing. <laughs> Did you hear that sound? Amazing. Hey, look at that. Boom. Dang. Nice. Oh, it's turning off. What the crap is that? Is my 2 ampere is not enough? Of course, this is not the charging port. Eh? This is, uh, of course, the, the mini USB port. You know what? Um, we're gonna stick it into my computer. That USB port must have more amperas. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Because that would be crazy. If we're gonna turn it on and then it turns off automatically. That is. Hey, there it is again. Dun -dun -dun. Tom Tech. And I, I'm gonna tell you on the complete YouTube here, there's only one guy that is showing this tablet. And no, I think, yeah, well, this is the excellent and this was the ultimate. No, that's not the tablet. There's only one guy showing this tablet, and his name is Marcel XL. He's also a Dutch guy. Hey, and we boot it up, and you can see that we have a connection. So we're going to hit home, and now the tablet is not turning off anymore. Why? Because the power, uh, the USB power that it's getting from the USB, uh, I mean from the computer, is enough to, to, to keep this thing up and running. All right? I already tested this, of course. Um, when I got it, uh, I, I did not connect the right, tra uh, the right charger. So everything that you saw is what happened to me when I just got it. And then I figured out that uh, whenever I'm gonna connect it to the computer via the mini USB port, the thing will just boot, okay? So that's great. So what is this? Well, um, this is Android. 2.3.1 okay and it's a model number ultimate 10 android version that is uh, what was this called again 2.3.1 i think froyo eh? and uh, it was built on the 26th of 11 2011 there are two models of this device the 2011 and the 2012 it's very important if you are gonna flash uh, some updated rom to this thing to know about that okay this this tablet is so unknown that on 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 xda you won't find anything about this tablet okay <laughs> so yeah this is a very old tablet and there's no development going on anymore for this tablet although i found on uh, tomtech ultimate here on tweakers i found the tomtech ultimate uh yeah uh what is it it's effect uh a site a tweakers we have some guy by the name of Dabos. He's the topic starter. And uh, the other topic starters are, or the, uh, the authors are Sparky, uh, Gilauf, and Wudu One. And these guys, uh, in fact, they, they, yeah, they jumped into the development of ROMs for this thing. And they ported certain ROMs. Here you can see several ROMs. Uh, 4.1, uh, 4, 
etc. And lots of information, all in Dutch, but I'm going to try to, you know, translate with the videos that I'm going to create and then get the right files on the right places. But this is uh, about everything that you're going to find uh, about this tablet. There's not so much on the internet about this tablet anymore because it's very old. Eh? You see the date here, 2012, and all the links, these are, you, you can see this is Dutch quality. Eh? Dutch people, they, they, you know, when they put something, even if it's in 2012, you can still download it. You see that? All the files are, are still there. This is not like DHST, you know, uh, files you click and then uh, your computer is a virus. You must not turn it off, you know, and these crazy things that are happening whenever you're going to go on certain sites to get ROMs. Um, so, yeah, um, of course, we have some good sites where we get our ROMs. And the guys at XDA these days are also posting uh, their ROMs to, 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 to good places. But we, we can still find some ROMs for this thing. So many people have a problem that the device is staying in, in, in the boot logo. So let me show you some buttons of, of, of this device. Let, let's first turn it off. Let's turn it off. Yes. Here you can see some buttons, volume up, volume down. I don't even know what this is, really. Maybe it's saying what it is. Let's take a look there what it is. Oh yeah, here is the escape button, this escape. This is the menu button, and this is the home button. And this is volume up and volume down. Okay, so um, yesterday, when I, I could not start up the tablet, that was not the problem of the tablet. Uh, that was the problem of, of course, uh, the power, the power source. Uh, I went into the recovery and I did a clean reset. So, uh, yeah, in fact, I wiped everything before I first started up the tablet. So uh, I think the people still had lots of things on the tablet, but I wiped everything because they themselves, they lost the adapter and they did not know that they could also still use the tablet while you know by by using this this cable so yeah that's why they sold it for 10 euros i think all right so what is the deal um this is uh volume of volume down if the tablet hangs and does not want to boot you might want to do a hard reset to perform a hard reset you will have to get into the recovery mode so how to do that Turn the tablet off, connect the mini USB cable, don't push it into your computer yet, hold down the first button on top of the tablet and the volume up, keep these two pressed, put in the USB cable so the tablet gets power and connects to the computer, keep holding, keep holding until you see a triangle. Whenever you see the triangle, we're gonna do some more steps to get in the actual recovery. Okay, we keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. I'm holding volume up in the first one, and then we get into here. And then here at the side, we have a little button. That's the on-off button. And I found out by pressing... Okay, so you need to press then the volume up and the power together, okay? The power here at the side and the volume up. This is the volume up, this one here. And then you get into the recovery. And with the volume up and down, you can go through the through the uh, through the menu. So this is now for my Dutch people. Um als je jouw tablet niet wil opstarten en um, hij blijft hangen, wat voor probleem je ook hebt, uh, ga naar de recovery mode, zoals ik het heb laten zien net. Uh, het, het is wel een beetje tricky. Um, ja, ik heb de adapter gebruikt. En ja, je, je, je zou ook de, uh, de, de net, uh, netvoeding kunnen gebruiken, hier zo. Maar die heb ik niet, dus ik gebruik echt puur alleen uh, USB-stroom uh, om het apparaat zeg maar, te booten. En we zijn dus nu in de recovery. En je hebt gezien hoe ik dat heb gedaan. En dan ga je gewoon een Wipe Data Factory Reset doen. 
En met de power of zo uh, bevestig je. Ik ga het niet doen, omdat, ja, yeah, I, I don't want to do a wipe data factory reset, because I'm good. Uh, je kan ook een recovery system uh, voor een backup kan je laden. En dan gaat die, gaat die laden, een backup gaat die dan laden. Um, en probeer gewoon een wipe data factory reset en een wipe catch partition. Die is ook erg belangrijk om te doen. So ja, yeah, if, if the tablet does not want to boot anymore, you go into the system. And uh, if you also have an update RK image, that's what we gonna do very soon. Then uh, if we have that on, on the SD card, then we can also run that one from here. You see, and then in fact, we're gonna update the tablet, but I cannot do it because I, I don't have the uh, adapter. So I need an adapter to do that because I'm scared to, you know, if I'm gonna do it without the adapter, only with the USB power, in fact, it should, it should, it should not be such a big problem. With the power you're, With the power you're uh, you're confirming, okay. With the power, give you a Roger D there, okay. But I'm going to reboot because I have nothing on the SD card. You can put the SD card with the image file on there, and then simply, uh, yeah, boot from that image file, and then it's going to install. But yeah, I'm not going to do it. Fantastic. So what we now going to do? is uh, we're gonna upgrade this tablet to a higher build of Android. I will also go and get me uh, a little adapter. And if you want to see how that all will go, uh, check in with the next part of this video and see you then.